so hello students a very good morning to all of you uh, i welcome you all once again to this platform right where we are discussing this uh, where we are having question answer sessions uh, from uh, arihan's publication book so uh, the coming 2 3 months are very important for us right like the board exams are approaching our je exam is also coming so uh, i will advise you all to uh, please take care of your health right uh, don't uh, be involved in some unkind uh, like unwanted activities and uh, uh, refrain yourself from all those activities and uh, please be uh, focused on your studies get, like give your 100% in studies you uh, keep on uh, practicing the problems and uh, give your 100% okay don't think much of the exams and all just uh, give your best that's all uh, i would like to advise you all so uh, uh, coming to our topic uh, we were discussing this parabola chapter right and uh, we have completed two exercises of that so uh, today we will uh, have discussions from exercise 3 of this uh, parabola chapter so uh, this is our first question right so please read it first question from uh, exercise 3 so if m1 m2 are the slopes of two tangents uh, that are drawn from 2,3 to the parabola y square is equal to 4x then the value of this 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 okay so one point is given and we are drawing uh, two tangents to the parabola so our parabola is y square is equal to 4x so this is our parabola y square is equal to 4x and so let me draw one rough sketch so this is our parabola and we are drawing two tangents right from this point so suppose this is our first tangent this is our uh, second tangent and this is our point p let's assume this point as p whose coordinates are 2 comma 3 okay now uh, let's suppose this tangent is having slope of m1 and uh, uh, this tangent is having slope of m2 so we need to find uh, the value of 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 now what i will do i will uh, assume i will assume the equation of tangent to be like let the tangent be uh, y is equal to mx plus c okay <coughs> or we can say uh, okay we are assuming it here for tangency we know the conditions right uh, that c uh, must be equal to a by m so i am writing that y is equal to mx plus a by m like for this line to be a tangent to the parabola y square is equal to 4x uh, our c must be equal to a by m now what i will do i will uh, solve the solve this uh, tangent with the equation of parabola y square is equal to 4x okay so y square is equal to 4x or uh, we can do one more thing we don't have to uh, solve this we can put this point in this equation no like if this is the tangent this must uh, uh, satisfy this point p okay so uh, let me uh, put the coordinates here so, so like uh, our point p is uh, 2 comma 3 it, it must satisfy this equation so from here if you see we will get 3 is equal to in place of x we will write 2 so this will be uh, 2m and what is the value of a from here if you see a will be coming out to be 1 because 4a is equal to 4 that means a is equal to 1. so uh, this will be 1 upon m right now from here we get 3m is equal to this 2m square plus 1 so basically we are having this quadratic in m right 2m square minus 3m plus 1 equal to 0 okay 
we are having this quadratic in m so obviously uh, it will have two roots m1 and m2 okay and those two uh, those two slopes which we are getting from this quadratic will be slopes of these two tangents okay so uh, from here if you see uh, on solving on for the factorizing it we will have this 2m square okay minus 2m minus m plus 1 equal to 0 so take 2m common from here it will be m minus 1 minus 1 m minus 1 equal to 0 so basically after factorization we got m minus 1 into 2m minus 1 equal to 0 so from here we will have two values of m so m1 will be equal to let me write it as m1 and m2 so m1 will be equal to 1 and our m2 will be equal to 1 by so, okay so these two uh, values of uh, m like these two values of slopes denote the slopes of these two tangents right this m1 and m2 so now what question is asking it is asking the value of 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 okay so 1 by m1 will be basically 1 and 1 by m2 will be uh, 2 so this will be equal to 3 okay so uh, this will be our answer to this question so option b here i am able to see 3 is given so uh, this will be our answer okay uh, now let's take the next question this question number 2 it is saying the angle between the tangents uh, drawn from the origin to the parabola this y square is equal to 4a x minus a okay so parabola here is given as y square is equal to 4a into x minus a right <coughs> now we have to find the angle between the tangents drawn from the origin okay we are drawing a uh, tangents from origin to this parabola so uh, like on comparison uh, on comparing this equation with our standard equation of parabola we are having uh, like the vertex of this parabola will be this x minus a must be equal to 0 like uh, that means x must be equal to a and what will be the y coordinate it will be 0 so the vertex of this parabola will be basically uh, a comma 0 okay so uh, if we draw the parabola okay so this will be a parabola and uh, this is the axis okay and uh, okay we need to find the angle between the tangents no so uh, x axis i'm sorry yeah x axis will be not x axis where will this uh, center means origin lie that we have to figure it out so this vertex is a comma zero basically right so this vertex is uh, a comma zero so our origin will be somewhere here okay in this point and uh, we are drawing tangents from origin right so this vertex is a comma zero uh, I am assuming the origin to be here. I am drawing tangents from here. So uh, let me draw tangents from here on this parabola. So uh, this is one tangent and this one is another. Okay. And uh, our focus will lie somewhere here. Our focus will lie somewhere here. Okay. Let me. Uh, change the color of the pen so uh, our focus will lie somewhere here okay i'm uh, writing it as this this is our vertex this is our vertex v okay and uh, this is our origin so uh, this is our y axis this is our x axis since uh, axis of this parabola is uh, x axis only right so uh, our vertex is the coordinates of vertex is a comma 0 okay a comma zero now what will be the coordinates of this what will be the coordinates of our focus so the distance between uh, vertex and focus is a okay from uh, on comparing this uh, equation 
of the given parabola with the standard equation parabola, we get the value of A as A only because 4A, 4A is mentioned. So uh, the, four, the coordinates of focus will be basically this uh, 2A comma 0. 2A comma 0. Okay. Now, uh, I hope everyone is understanding this. And now, what will be the equation of our directrix? So, uh, basically, this distance, the distance between uh, vertex and directrix should be A, right? So, this origin, this y axis is behaving as basically directrix because the uh, coordinates of uh, this uh, V is A comma 0 and this is our origin. So, uh, this line will be x equal to this x equal to 0 will uh, behave as our directrix of the parabola. Right, this x equal to 0 will behave like uh, directrix of the parabola and its coordinate is uh, 0 comma 0. Obviously, origin is having coordinates 0 comma 0. So, from this point, this point O, we are uh, drawing two tangents, this T1 and T2. Okay. Uh, and what is further asked? Okay, this angle is being asked. What will be this angle theta? This angle is what we have to calculate, right? So, how can we approach? Basically, if you see uh, this, uh, let me assume this uh, line as y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, like. Let the tangent be okay, or we can do one thing. We uh, we can we should go in this way. That will be more helpful, I think. Let me join this point A, A and B. Okay. Let me join this point A and B, like this point of contacts. So uh, basically, what will be equation of AB? Let me erase this thing. Suddenly one uh, other method strike in my mind. So this equation of AB, let me write the equation of AB. So basically it is the chord of contact, right? So it will be uh, T equal to zero. Now, what is our uh, S uh, like? This is our equation of uh, parabola. No? Y square is equal to 4ax, okay, minus 4a square. Okay, now uh, I will write the equation of AB as t comma 0. That is nothing but y, y1 is equal to 2a into x plus x1 minus of 4a square. Is it okay? Now, what I will do, this uh, origin will satisfy. Uh, not origin. Uh, I am writing the equation of this a b no t barabar zero. So this zero comma zero should satisfy this equation, right? Zero comma zero should satisfy this equation. So uh, what it will become basically zero is equal to uh, this two uh, a x. So two a x will be zero. Then uh, plus two a x one. Two a x one minus four a square, right? So uh, our x1 will be equal to this 4a is square, 4a is square upon 2a, okay? So uh, this is nothing but 2a, right? This is nothing but 2a. So uh, basically what we got, the value of this x1. So what is this x1? x1 is the x coordinate of this a, okay? This x coordinate of a. And uh, now I will put the value of x1 in the equation of parabola. Okay. So uh, is, it will be basically y square is equal to 4a into x way I will put as 2a minus 4a square. That will be nothing but y square will be equal to 4 8a square minus 4a square. That will be equal to 4a square. Okay. From here we got the value of y as plus minus 2a. Okay, why we got the value of y s plus minus 2. So basically the coordinates of this a and b, the coordinates of this a and b are this 2a comma 2a and this is our 2a comma minus 2a. 
okay so if you observe it is the focal point why because it is passing through the uh, focus because the coordinates of focus is 2a right and here also the coordinates of this a and b are coming out to be 2a so basically it is the focal point okay and this y axis is directrix and this y axis is directrix so actually we have one property for parabola right if any focal chord okay the angle between the tangents drawn at the extremity of the focal chord and if that uh, tangents meet at directrix the angle between them should be 90 degree so this is one of the property we will uh, verify it by, uh, here also okay so we got in, uh, we got the coordinates of this a and b so basically what we need we need the angle between oa and ob right so what will be the slope of oa what will be the slope of oa what will be the slope of oa it will be 2a minus 0 right 2a minus 0 upon 2a minus g so this is nothing but 1 and what will be the slope of our this uh, ob what will be slope of ob it will be uh, minus 2a minus 0 upon 2a minus 0 so it is coming out to be minus 1, right and uh, the product of this oa and ob this product of oa slope of oa and ob is coming out to be minus 1 what does it mean it means both these lines are perpendicular right means both these tangents are perpendicular so i am writing perpendicular tangents so angle between the tangents will be basically 90 degree right angle will be equal to 90 degree between both tangents and what i have uh, informed you earlier this is one of the property of parabola so uh, you can remember it so any focal chord if we are drawing the uh, tangents at the extremities of focal chord and then those tangents meeting at directrix must make an angle of 90 degree between them okay so uh, this option a is correct this will be our answer okay now let's move to the next question this question number three if e comma b is the midpoint of chord passing through the vertex of parabola y square is equal to 4x then some relations is the, uh, given here between a and b we have to identify which one is correct okay so uh, the parabola is uh, y square is equal to 4x y square is equal to 4x so uh, first of all uh, let's find the value of a so 4a is if 4 means a is equal to 1 okay so we get the value of a beforehand if uh, applicable we will use this anyhow so what if a comma b is the midpoint of chord passing through the vertex okay so let me draw the parabola first so uh, this is our parabola and uh, this is our vertex sorry this is our axis and one i have to draw one chord which is passing through the vertex okay so let me draw this chord a b okay it is it is passing through vertex so this is our uh, v means vertex and uh, let me uh, name it as u okay so this uv is the chord which is passing through the vertex and its midpoint okay so its midpoint is basically its coordinates are its coordinate is a comma b okay so we have to find some relation between this a and b so what will be the uh, coordinates of the vertex here vertex of this parabola it will be 0 comma 0 right and uh, what will be the coordinates of focus it will be 1 comma 0 right this is our focus is so uh, since value of a is 1 it is 1 comma 0 now uh, let me assume let me assume the uh, coordinates of u as a t square a t square comma 2 a t okay so coordinates of u is basically okay a is 1 so coordinates of u will become uh, t square comma 2 t right t square comma 2 t now uh, 
uh, m is the midpoint of this uv so basically if you see the uh, what will be the coordinates of m it will be uh, this t is square t is square plus 0 upon 2 right this will be x coordinate and our y coordinate will be 2 t plus 0 upon uh, 2 so our coordinates of m comes out to be this t square upon 2 and t now as per question it is given that t is square upon 2 is equal to a okay and uh, this t is equal to b right this a comma b is given in the question itself so from here we easily got this t is equal to b means what this b square is equal to 2a this will be the relation between a and b okay substitute the value of b here so uh, t square will become b square b square is equal to 2a so this will be our answer so i think this option d is matching here b square is equal to 2 so option d will be correct <clears throat> now heading towards the uh, to the next question the diameter of the parabola y square is equal to 6x corresponding to the system of parallel chords 3x minus y plus c equal to 0 is okay so one concept is here uh, regarding this diameter of parabola okay so uh, let me assume this uh, parabola okay this y square is equal to 6x y square is equal to 6x this is our parabola this is the axis of the parabola okay now one chord is given here this 3x minus y plus c some chord So, the equation of some chords is given here. Okay. So, basically, if you see, actually, we have to understand what is the diameter of the parabola, right? So, uh, let me assume this uh, line to be like y is equal to mx plus c. Okay. Y is equal to mx plus c, and let me assume this parabola as y square is equal to 4ax. So basically, the diameter of a parabola will be the locus of the midpoint of these family of lines. Y is equal to mx plus c. Like m will be constant. All these chords are parallel. Okay, these uh, chords which I have drawn here in white color. All these chords are parallel, and the locus of the midpoint of these chords. Okay, will give me the diameter of the parabola. Uh, will give me the diameter of the parabola. This y square is equal to 4x. So, what is this? Y is equal to mx plus c. If you consider this thing, m is constant for all the uh, chords, right? m is constant. Now, c is getting varied. Like, c is variable. Okay, so uh, suppose if I join, uh, suppose the midpoint of this is uh, our uh, m. Okay, this, suppose I am writing this as a, b. So, a chord AB, its midpoint is M and it's, let me take it as H comma K. So, the locus of the midpoint of all the chords, okay, that will give me the uh, equation of diameter of the parabola. So, I think uh, it is clear to all. Okay, now coming to the question, what is given here? Uh, our parabola is given as Y square is equal to 6X, okay, and uh, this AB this a b in the question as per question it is given as 3x uh, minus y plus c equal to 0 okay or uh, we can uh, you can write it as in this way also y is equal to 3x plus c y is equal to 3x plus c in this form y is equal to mx plus c means uh, slope intercept form so now what i will do uh, I will solve it. Okay. I will solve the equation of this uh, parabola and this equation of chord. Okay. So let's see what we are getting. So uh, we will give, uh, we will get this 3x plus c. Okay. Uh, 3x plus c square is equal to 6x. Is it okay? 
or uh, better we uh, make a quadratic in y that will be more helpful so uh, if you see what we can do this uh, 3x minus y plus c equal to 0 or we can uh, solve in this way also like uh, what we will get let's uh, let's try to figure it out okay so but uh, they, finally we need to have the locus of this m you know so let's try to make a quadratic in y okay so from here if you see from here from this equation of a b we can have the value of x so uh, this will be uh, 3x 3x is equal to y minus c or we can say x is equal to y minus c upon 3 okay i will uh, tell you the reason why i am uh, trying to make a quadratic in y okay so uh, substitute this value in equation one i'm erasing this portion because it is getting a quadratic in x okay substitute this value here so we will get y square is equal to 6 into x x is nothing but this y minus c upon 3 so uh, we will get 3y square okay 3y square minus of 6y okay minus of 6y and plus of 6c plus 6c is equal to 0 so finally we are getting this quadratic in y now what will be the sum sum of this sum of the roots of this quadratic y1 plus y2 will be equal to uh, 6 upon 3 that is nothing but 2 okay now let me ask you uh, like let me uh, take this uh, coordinates of a as x1 y1 now i am coming to the theory part so let me take the coordinates of a as x1 uh, y1 and this coordinates of b as x2 y2 now what i told you what will be the diameter of the this parabola it will be the locus of the midpoints of the given chords given a family of this uh, parallel chords so this uh, k okay this k will be equal to uh, y1 plus y2 upon 2 okay and what will be the value of h h will be x1 plus x2 upon 2 right now i will use this thing i will use this because we know the value of this y1 plus y2 now this y divide it by 2 so y1 plus y2 by 2 will be equal to 1 right from here we get this now what is the value of this y1 plus y2 upon 2 this is nothing but k this is nothing but k and k is coming out to be 1 the value of k is coming out to be 1 now in uh, while writing locus what we do we normally uh, uh, replace this h and k by x and y so this i will replace this y by 1 uh, i will replace this uh, k by y so finally we get this y equal to 1 so basically basically this will be the locus this will be the locus of the midpoint of this uh, chord ab or you can consider other parallel chords also so uh, this y minus 1 equal to 0 will be the diameter this will be the diameter of the given diameter of the given parabola okay diameter of the given parabola so uh, hope this concept is clear to all like uh, what is the diameter what is this word mean and how to find the uh, locus of that point m okay for the family of chords which are parallel to each other okay one more thing uh, you should know this diameter will always be this diameter will diameter of parabola will always be parallel to axis will always be parallel to parallel to the axis of parabola axis of parabola So if you see, what is the uh, axis of parabola here? 
y square is equal to 4x, it's in the standard form only. So uh, this x axis is the, uh, what you say, x axis is the axis of parabola. Okay. Now this uh, y equal to 1, what does it mean? Uh, something like this, this y equal to 1 will be this. Let me draw it. So our midpoint will be something here, somewhere here. Okay, so this will be y equal to 1. This is our y equal to 1. Is it okay? So uh, this will be our diameter of the parabola. So I assume, I, I assume like everyone is clear on this. So let's move ahead. We will take the next question. This was question number four, no? So now we will take this question number five. From the point minus one comma two, tangent lines are drawn to the parabola this. The area of triangle formed by the chord of contact and the tangents is given by, okay. Like one point is given. From there, we are drawing two tangents to the parabola y square is equal to four x. Now the area of triangle formed by the tangents, like pair of tangents and the chord of contact that we have to find the value of that uh, triangle's area, right? Area of triangle. So y square is equal to 4x means our standard parabola only. Okay. So uh, this is our parabola. This is the axis of the parabola. Now point is given as minus one comma two. Okay. So let me assume that point to be here. Minus one comma two. So this is one tangent I'm drawing. And this is one tangent. Okay. And now I have to join the I have to draw the chord of contact also, right? So this will be our chord of contact. So suppose this is our point uh, P, okay? From where we are drawing uh, this pair of tangents. This is minus one comma two. Let me assume this point as A and this point as, okay? So AB is our chord of contact. AB is our chord of contact, COC, okay? Uh, and we have to find the area of triangle, this area of triangle uh, PAB, PAB that we have to find as per the question. So can we write the equation of AB, this chord of contact? Yeah, easily we can find it. So basically equation of AB, if you see, this equation of AB is given by T equal to zero. Okay. This equation of chord of contact, we know uh, its equation is given by T equal to zero. So, uh, and what is this uh, parabola? Okay. This parabola is y square is equal to 4x. So, uh, this will be y, y1 minus 4x plus x1 by 2 is equal to zero. Now, put the value of this x1 and y1. So it will be 2y, 2y and uh, minus 2x, minus 2x, minus 2 times x1. Minus 2 times x1 will be what? Uh, plus 2, right? Plus 2 equal to 0. So uh, minus 2 times x1, x1 is minus 1, so it will be plus 2 only. Okay, so divided by 2, I will get y minus x plus one equal to zero. Okay. So this is our equation of AB. This is the equation of AB. Right. Now, can we find this? If we can find the coordinates of A and B, right? So uh, our task will be easy. So what is the process like? How to find the this value? This coordinates of A and B. I want to have the coordinates of A and B so that the area of triangle can be 
easily find out. We can easily find out the area of the triangle. So we got the equation of AB. Okay. Mm. Should we solve with this the equation of parabola? The equation of parabola is uh, this y square is equal to 4x. Okay. So this will become y square is equal to 4 times x. From here, if you see what will be our x, x will be equal to y plus 1, right? So put here, this will be uh, y plus 1. So y square minus 4y minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So from here, what we get, y is equal to uh, minus b means uh, 4 plus minus under root of b square. b square is nothing but 16 minus 4 a and minus 1 upon c. c is what? Sorry, uh, a minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac upon 2a. So this will be 2. So from here we get uh, 4 plus minus 16 plus 4 that is 20. Okay, 20 we can write it as 2 root 5, right? Uh, 20 means 4 into 4 into 5 that is 2 root 5. Okay, so this will be 2 root 5 upon 2 or we can say this thing to be 2 plus minus 2 plus minus root 5. Is it okay? This is the value of y. Okay, so this will be basically uh, coordinates of this y coordinates of this a and b. Is it okay? So uh, this is what we got the value of y. Now uh, we have to find the x coordinate of a and b, right? So uh, you once check the calculation. Hope is it uh, it is not wrong. So once I will take the value of y one as this uh, two plus root five. Okay. So what will be our value of x one? So x one will be equal to. Now I'm solving this. I'm I'm find, I'm trying to find the value of x. So this will be two plus root five and uh, plus one, right? So this will be three root five. Is it okay? And if we take the value of y two as two minus of root five, our x one will become. Uh, sorry, our x two will become. Uh, y means 2 minus root 5 and uh, plus 1. So this will be 3 minus root 5. 2 plus 1, 3 minus root 5. And uh, this is our x2. And what is our x1? x1 is 3 plus root 5. Okay, there it will be plus 3 plus root 5. So this is our x, this is the x1, this is our x2. So basically we got the coordinates of a, b as we got the coordinates of ABS. Suppose I am taking it as x1, y1. So this will be uh, 3 plus root 5. Okay. And its y coordinate is 2 plus root 5. And uh, the coordinates of B will be 3 minus root 5. And y coordinate will be 2 minus root 5. Okay. Now, what will be this uh, area of triangle? Area of triangle PAB will be half base, base is AB and height that is, suppose I am taking this height as, let me draw it also. Okay. So, let me name it as M. So, half AB into PM. Okay. Now, what will be AB? What will be this AB distance? So, AB will be equal to um, x1 minus x2 whole squared. So, this will be root 5, right? 3 plus root 5 minus 3 means 2 root 5, 2 root 5 squared and uh, plus 2 plus root 5 minus 2 means again 2 root 5 squared. 
whole under root, right? So it will become 4 into 5, that is 20. Right? 20 plus 20 under root 40. Under root 40. And what will be our PM basically? What will be our PM? Okay, so PM will be the perpendicular distance on AV, right? PM will be perpendicular distance on this line. So uh, this is basically minus of 1 means 1 plus 2 plus 2 uh, plus 1 upon under root of a square plus b square that is root 2. So this will become 2, 3, 4 upon root 2. 4 upon root 2. Okay. So our area will be, uh, area will be equal to half times ab. ab is under root 40. What can we write this under root 40 as? 8 into 5 or 4 into 10. So 2 root 10. Okay, let me write it as 2 root 10. Okay. 2 root 10 and this PM will be 4 by root 2. 4 by root 2. So, uh, what we are getting this 2, 2 will be cancelled out. Okay. So, 4 upon root 2. No. So, this is... Uh, we can write this uh, root 10 as uh, root 5 into root 2, root 5 into root 2 into 4 upon root 2. So this will get cancelled out, 4 root 5, but we are not having any option of 4 root 5. Have we done mistake somewhere? So uh, what we have done, we have written the equation of AB, this y, y1. Uh, minus 4 x plus x1 upon 2 equal to 0. Now we have put this value 2, 2y uh, minus 2x and this will be minus for the this minus 2x, this will be minus 2, no? This will be, okay, okay. This x1 I am putting minus 1, no? So it's uh, Fine only. So this x1 will be a minus 1. So plus 2. We got the equation of AB as y minus x plus 1 equal to 0. From here we got x is equal to y plus 1. Now what we have done? We have solved with the solve this straight line with the equation of parabola y square is equal to 4x. We have put the value here. y square minus 4y ish. This should be minus 4. Here it will be minus 4. Oh. So we, we have to calculate once again, right? So this will be a 4 plus, okay, I'm trying to do it uh, here only. This will be 4 plus minus b square minus 4a minus 4. So this will be basically under root of 32. Let me erase it and do it first. Due to this error, we, we have to do once again whole thing. Anyhow, what can we do? Okay, so uh, let me write it uh, fatafat. This will be uh, y equal to y equal to 4 plus minus 16 plus 16, right? 32 means 4 root 2. No, 4 into 8. So 4 root 2 root 8. This will be 4 plus minus 
16 plus 16 32. So 16 plus 16 32 means 16 into 2 we can write 4 root 2. Is it okay? So 4 root 2 upon 2. So this will become our uh, 2 plus minus 2 plus minus 2 root 2. Okay. Hope uh, this is correct now. So now I will take the value of y1 as uh, this uh, 2 plus 2 root 2. Okay. And one more value y2 as 2 minus of 2 root 2. So on taking this value of uh, y1, we got x1 as 2 plus 2 root 2 plus 1. That is 3 plus 2 root 2. And we got uh, x2 as 2 minus 2 root 2 plus 1. That will be 3 minus 2 root 2. Okay. So basically we have to change these coordinates also. This coordinates of this A and B. Let me write this also. So basically the coordinates of A will be 3 plus 2 root 2. Okay. 3 plus 2 root 2 and 2 plus 2 plus 2 root 2. And coordinates of B will be uh, 3 minus 2 root 2, 3 minus 2 root 2 and 2 minus 2 root 2. Now, uh, this will be the triangle of area of triangle half into AB into this PM. Okay. So, what will be AB? It will be uh, x1 minus x2. That is uh, 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2. That will be 4 root 2 whole square. And plus again 4 root 2 whole square. Okay. That will be whole thing under root. So this will be 16 into 2, 32 plus 32 under root. That is under root of 64. So AB is coming out to be 8. Okay. Now we think, uh, I think we are going in the right direction. So this AB came out to be 8. Now what will be this PM length? PM length will be a drop of perpendicular from this point on this line. So it will be uh, 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 the mod whole divided by under root of 1 square plus 1 square that will be root 2. So this will be 4 upon root 2. Now area will become half into AB into PM that is 4 upon 4 upon root 2. So 2 char okay half base into height. So this will be your 16 upon root 2 okay or you can write it as you can write it as 8 into 2 right. 8 into 2 upon root 2 that is nothing but 8 root 2. This, that is nothing but 8 root 2. Okay. So this will be our area of triangle formed by the pair of tangents and the chord of chord. So basically it took a longer time due to this error but can't help. Okay. So uh, this option C is correct. This option C is coming out to be correct. Okay. Now let's take the next one. This question number six. Okay. This parabola. Okay. Now this parabola is given as x square plus y square plus 2xy minus 6x minus 2y plus 3 equal to 0. And uh, we have to find the focus of this parabola. So uh, this is basically a nice question based on the basic funda. So like till now oh, we normally see the equation of parabola in the standard form, right? Either in the standard form or with the shifted uh, vertex, with the shifted vertex we normally see. But here we are uh, having this uh, type of form, means general uh, second degree equation of a cone. So from here if you see, uh, for a parabola this h square must be equal to ab, right? So if I write this equation of parabola here, so x square plus y square plus 2xy minus 6x and uh, minus 2y plus 3 equal to 0. So what is uh, h here basically? 
this 2h is equals to 2. It means h is equals to, it means h is equals to 1. Okay. So h square is equal to ab. Now what is ab? a is 1 and b is also 1. So this is 1 into 1 that is, sorry, that is 1 into 1 is equal to 1 and h is also 1. So definitely it is a parable. It is given also. Just give me one second. Okay. So we have verified through our earlier knowledge, like for a, for a second degree conic uh, equation, we must have h square is equal to a b for a pair. So it is uh, following that uh, condition, not an issue. Now, how to find the uh, vertex of, uh, sorry, how to find the focus of this parabola? That's an uh, important question. How should we uh, find the focus of this parabola? So, let me go with the uh, basic thing. Let me go with the basic uh, definition of parabola. Okay. So, I am considering this parabola to be this. Okay. And what I will do now, I will draw the this axis. Okay, I will draw one directrix. Okay, I will take any point. I will take any point on this parabola. And I will uh, join this focus with that point. And I will have this distance from the directrix. So let me take this point as P. Okay, let me take this point as P. Uh, this is our focus. And this is our directrix. This is our directrix of the parabola. Uh, okay. Let me assume this focus to be our h comma k. Okay. Let me assume this point as x one comma y one. And let me assume this directrix to be y is equal to m x plus c. So see, I have done nothing. I have just. Uh, considered all these uh, conditions means all these points. So this is a point on parabola and this is our directrix. So for, let me name it as PM. So uh, for this conic to represent a parabola, what is the condition? This PS must be equal to PM for parabola. Okay. I think uh, no one is having any objection on this. This PS must be equal to PM. Okay. Now find this PS and PM. So how to find this PS will be nothing but X1 minus H whole square. Okay. And uh, this Y1 minus K whole square. This whole thing under root. Okay. And what will be PM? What will be PM this uh, perpendicular distance? perpendicular distance from this point on this line. Now, what is this line? This is mx. Uh, you can write it in this way also. mx minus y uh, plus c equal to 0. Now, calculate the perpendicular distance from this point p on this line. So, it will be basically this uh, mx1, right? mx1 minus of y1 plus c is the mod right and under root of under root of this uh, m square plus one square is it okay i think uh, up to this there will be no problem to anyone now i will square it okay i will square it so uh, let's see what we get Let's see what we get here. So this will be basically one plus m square, right? One plus m square. And this will be x one square plus h square minus two h x one. Okay, uh, and then plus this y one square plus k square and minus 2k y1. Is it okay? 
and uh, this thing will become our mx1 mx1 minus y1 plus c whole square is it okay is it okay now one thing i must do here i must replace this x1 and y1 by x and y because this point is lying on the parabola itself this point is lying on the parabola itself so i am replacing this x1 and y1 uh, basically by x and y so for uh, better understanding like better uh, calculation purpose okay i will not be putting this x1 and y1 so i will replace it so is it okay this p is equal to pm that we have equated and we have uh, write the equation okay so now uh, it will be 1 plus m square or should i open it should i open it or what okay let me keep it as it is so 1 plus m square this will be x square plus h square minus 2 hx plus uh, y square plus k square minus 2 k y okay this will be whole multiplied and i will uh, this a plus b plus c whole square formula i will use okay so this will be m square x square plus y square plus c square uh, then uh, minus of plus of 2ab means this 2mxy then uh, minus of 2yc and plus of 2mcx is it okay plus 2mcx and yc okay now i will put uh, this thing I will put all the things to the one uh, left hand side. Okay. So this will be basically our 1 plus m square x square. Or you can write it as uh, this m square x square term is getting cancelled. I am able to see that. Okay. So let me uh, let me expand this. So this will be x square or uh, 1 plus m square okay 1 plus m square then uh, from here i will get minus of m square okay and what i will get here h square 1 plus m square 1 plus m square into h square 1 plus m square into h square is something getting cancelled out or what this m square m square is getting cancelled out m1 plus m square h square here there is no uh, h square term okay this uh, minus of 1 plus m square into 2hx into 2hx then one plus m square into y square right so this will be 1 plus m square here what we have minus of 1 right minus of 1 y square and uh, 1 plus m square into k square then minus of 1 plus m square into 2k by into 2k by and this will be equal to this we have considered there y square is also considered this x y term is not considered no? so this if i write here itself so this will be 2 m x y okay mm -hmm. and this plus 2 y c plus 2 y c okay this plus 2 y c uh, minus 2 m c x and minus of c square is equal to 0. Basically what I will do, I will compare this equation of parabola with the given parabola. Okay. Hope this is uh, clear to all. 
so basically if you see uh, this considering this equation x y no x y term is here and here if you see where is the x y term here so basically this 2 m is equal to this 2 m is equal to comparing x y term this 2 m is coming out to be 2 so from here we got m as 1 so from here we got m as 1 okay and what further we can do if you see these things is getting cancelled out okay and uh, this equation of uh, x square here coefficient is 1 here also 1 uh, what is the coefficient here 1 minus 1 is getting cancelled out okay so from here also we are getting m as 1 and uh, this constant term we have to take care of okay so uh, let me uh, put here so this will uh, basically become x square and plus 2h square uh, minus 4hx okay minus 4hx plus y square plus y square plus 2k square and minus 4ky plus 2yc right plus 2yc minus 2mcx okay minus 2cx you can say minus 2cx and minus c square is equal to 0 okay so uh, this calculation is getting uh, longer but anyhow what can we do we can further compare the coefficients of x also x and y also so if you see this coefficient of x what is the coefficient of x here so here x term is there and here so basically this minus of minus of 4h plus 2c minus of 4h plus 2c is equal to into x is equal to what is here minus of 6 right so from here this uh, 4h plus 2c is coming out to be 6 okay or you can say this 2h plus c is equal to 3 similarly on comparing the equation this uh, coefficient of y what i will get this uh, minus 4k and uh, minus 4k minus of 2y minus of 2c okay into y this must be equal to this minus 2y this must be equal to this minus 2y so from here if you see uh, this thing this thing is getting cancelled out this uh, 4k minus of 2c is coming out to be equal to 2 or you can say this 2k minus of c is equals to 1 okay. let me uh, just go on some let me have some space here so this is what we got okay so this thing is there this thing is apart from that any other relation can we uh, have so yeah this thing this constant thing this 2h square okay so basically this 2h square 2h square here then what we have this 2k square plus 2k square and this minus c square this must be equal to the constant term here in the equation of parabola okay it is coming to be 3 now what I will do, I will replace this, uh, substitute the value of h and k in terms of c. Okay. So what will be h from here? It will be 3 minus c upon 2. 3 minus c upon 2 whole square. Then plus 2 times. So plus 2 times what? k square. What is k? k is a c plus 1 upon 2 c plus 1 upon 2 whole square and uh, a minus of c square minus of 3 equal to 0 okay so basically it will become 1 by 2 uh, 3 minus c whole square will be 9 plus c square minus of 6c okay then here also it will be 1 by 2 c square plus 1 plus 2c 
plus 2c then minus c square minus 3 equal to 0. So multiply it throughout uh, by 2. We will have this c square minus 6 uh, c plus 9 plus c square uh, plus 2c plus 1 minus c square minus 3 equal to 0, right? So uh, this plus c square minus c square will get cancelled out. This will be plus c square, okay? And minus c square will get cancelled out. What we are left with? Minus of c square, no? So is it minus of 2c square or what? The c square should completely vanish down, right? So if you see here, minus c square is there, okay? So c square plus minus 6c plus 9, minus 4c, from here, what we get minus of 4c and uh, plus 9, 10, 9 and 10 minus 7 plus 1. Okay. So again, I am doing somewhere mistake with this. Here it must have uh, twice of c square. Let me check once. So this will be T C square. Two C square it's coming out to be, right? It's coming out to be two C square, but uh, 9 plus 1, 10, minus 3, plus 7, plus 7, okay. And what this uh, c square plus c square means? 1 c square we are left out with. Okay. But something is wrong. Something is wrong, I think, because this c square uh, term should be vanished. So this 1 plus x, 1 plus a b square, okay. And uh, this minus c square thing will be here. This 2cx, 2yc, minus of c square. Where I am doing mistake, I am not able to identify it. This 4k minus 2c is equal to 2. So 2k minus c is equals to 1. This is okay only. This 2c square term should come here. If I'm not wrong. So this 2h square, okay, plus 2k square minus c square must be equal to the constant term. What is constant term here? 3. So minus c square. Oh, I'm multiplying whole thing by 2. No, my God. So this will be 2, no, this 2c square and this minus 6. I am multiplying whole thing by 2. Oh. So this will be minus c square, c square, and this will be minus 3 into 2. So 9 plus 1, that is 10 minus 6 will be equal to 4. What I am doing, I don't know. This... Uh, minus 2c square, that will be minus 6c plus 2c, that will be minus of 4c, 9 plus 10, 
minus 4 means plus 4 that will be equal to minus 4. So this the value of C is coming out to be 1. The value of C is coming out to be 1. Here also we have uh, wasted this 5 to 4 to 5 minutes unnecessarily. So this C is coming out to be 1. Once we got the value of C, once we got the value of C, we can easily find the value of H and K, right? So C is coming out to be 1. This thing, our 2H, 2H is equal to 3 minus C. 3 minus C, that is uh, 3 minus 1. Pain is also not working. This 3 minus 1, that is 2. So H is coming out to be 1. Okay. And again, this how to find K? This 2K is equal to 2K is equals to uh, 1 plus C, that is 1 plus 1, that is 2. So from here also we got the value of k as 1. So hope uh, this is clear to all. This focus, our focus was h comma k. Okay, and uh, in question it is asked that what is the focus only, right? We have to find, uh, identify the focus. What will be the coordinates of focus? So this h comma k is coming out to be 1. Okay. okay. <sighs> So it is basically one comma one, but uh, nowhere in option it is given as uh, one comma one. Okay, so our focus is coming out to be one comma one. This will be uh, the answer, but in options uh, it is not available here. So I think none of this we can take none of this. So basically focus will be one comma one. I'm writing here. Okay. So uh, again, this question also took uh, line due to my mistake only. I have taken much time in the calculation part. So anyhow, let's see this one. Now this, why this is hanging, I don't know. This pain is also not working. So uh, the locus of the midpoint of that part of parabola, which subtends right angle on the vertex. Okay, so this is our parabola. Okay, and we have to find the locus of the midpoint of that part of parabola, which subtends a right angle. Okay, on the vertex. So suppose this is our axis of parabola. Okay. And this is our chord, which is subtending a right angle at the vertex. So let me assume this parabola to be y square is equal to 4x. Since nothing is given, I am going with the standard parabola only. And uh, this is chord AB, okay, which is subtending a right angle at the vertex. This is our vertex whose coordinates are 0, 0. Okay. Now we have to find the locus of midpoint of this part. So let me take the midpoint of AB as A, sorry, M and its coordinate as H comma K. Is it okay? <clears throat> Is it okay? So uh, this AB, this AB chord is making an angle of 90 degree at the vertex. This is what is given in the question. Now, how to approach this? Uh, I think uh, we can write the equation of AB, right? With the given middle point. So if you see, we can write the equation of AB as how to write the equation of chord with the given middle point. It's basically T is equal to S1, right? So uh, it will be Y, Y1 minus two times 2a x plus x1 okay y y1 minus 2a x plus x1 is equal to this s1 will be what put the value of this h and k here 
So this will be h square minus four uh, a. Sorry, k square. No, k square minus four a h. Is it okay? Now put x one uh, equal to h and y one is equal to k here also. So this will be y into, or we can write this as k into y uh, minus two a x. Okay, and minus two a x one means what? H is equal to k is square minus four h. Is it okay? So finally, it will become if you see k is square uh, minus four h plus two h. That will be minus two a h. Uh, then plus two a x. Okay, and uh, minus of k y is equal to zero. This will be the equation of a b. Okay. This is our equation of AB. Okay. Now replace this H and K by uh, Y and X. So what we get? This Y square we can uh, K square can be replaced by Y square. This minus two A X. Okay. Uh, plus two A X minus of K Y. No, no. This is the equation of AB. What we what we got right now? It is obtaining a right angle on the vertex. So this slope must be. But how to utilize this? This slope must be the slope of uh, AB and uh, slope of DB must be equal. To, uh, product of those slopes must be equal to minus one. So if you see, if you see, we can do one thing. No. This is uh, passing through zero comma zero. It is passing through zero comma no, not passing through zero comma zero. Mm, okay, let me do uh, one more thing. Let me assume these points. Let me assume this point A as uh, a t one square comma two a t one. Okay, and let me assume this point as a t two square, comma two a t two. Is it okay? Is it okay? I will uh, come to this equation of a b later. Let me try to uh, build one relation between this t one and t two. So uh, this slope of a b into uh, slope of uh, b v must be. Product of these two slopes must be equal to minus one. Now, uh, slope of A B will be two A T one. Okay, upon uh, A T one square into two A T two upon A T two square. This must be equal to minus one. So this A A cancelled out. This T one will be cancelled out. This T two will be cancelled out. So basically, we got this T one T two is equal to minus of four. Okay, this T one T two is coming out to be minus four. Now, what can we uh, do for the this uh, AB? No, this uh, relation between T one and T two we got, and equation of AB we got. Okay. So this we can write the equation of AB as uh, in uh, slope intercept form also. Sorry, two point uh, form also. So let me write the equation of AB as or this h comma k are the midpoint. No, so this h will be equal to basically this uh, a t one square. A t one square plus t two square. Okay, a t one square plus t two square upon two, and this k will be equal to two uh, a t one plus t two, two a t one plus t two upon two. Okay, so this k will be equal to a into t one plus t two, and this. Uh, H is coming out to be a t one square plus t two square. Okay, 
So basically what we can do, we can write this H as, we can write this H as uh, A by 2 and what is this uh, T1 square plus T2 square, we can write it as T1 plus T2 squared, okay, minus of 2 times T1, T2, is it okay? Okay, now what I will get this A by 2 and uh, this T1 plus T2 we know what the T1 value of T1 plus T2 is uh, K by A, K by A, right. So I am putting here, it will be K square upon A square and this value of T1 into T2 also we know that is minus 4. So minus 4 into minus 2 that will be plus of 8. Is it okay? So uh, it will become our uh, a k square, okay, a k square upon 2 a square and uh, plus 8 a plus 8 a upon 2, this h, okay. Now we got uh, a relation between this h and k. So uh, finally what we will have, this a and a will be cancelled out. This uh, taking LCM as 2a, we will have this k square plus 8a square is equal to h. So this 2ah is equals to k square plus 8a square. Okay. Now replace this uh, h and k by uh, x and y. So y square minus 2ax plus 8a square is equal to 0. So this will be our answer. So basically, uh, we don't need this equation of AB. This approach was wrong. Okay. So this y square minus 2x plus 8a square is equal to 0. This will be our answer. Okay. We have assumed the points this a and b to be at square comma 281 and this in parametric form. And the middle point of uh, this part is taken to be h comma k. And now, uh, as per the given condition, these slopes should be, these uh, line AB and BB are at 90 degree. So their slopes must be equal to, product of their slopes must be equal to minus 1. So from there, we got one relation between this H and K. So I hope it is clear to everyone. Uh, now, uh, let's take this next one. This question number 8. It is saying a ray of light moving parallel to the x-axis gets reflected from a parabolic mirror whose equation is y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4 times x plus x1. After reflection, the ray must pass through the point. Okay. So this is this question is mainly based on the property of parabola. Our parabola is given to be y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4 times x plus x1. So it is... Uh, Compare it with the, our standard parabola, y square is equal to 4ax, okay. So basically, uh, what will be the vertex, what will be the vertex of this, this uh, x plus 1 must be equal to 0, that means uh, this will be a minus 1 and y plus 2 must be equal to 0, so that will be minus 1 comma 2, so this will be the vertex and uh, what will be uh, how our parabola, parabola will look like. So our vertex, its vertex is what? Its vertex is minus one comma two, right? Minus one comma two. And uh, what is a here? A is coming out to be one. Four a is equal to four means a is equal to one. So basically, its focus will be at minus 1 plus 1 that is 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 now this is the axis of parabola okay this is the axis of parabola <coughs> and what is this axis y is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 so as per the property of parabola any line which is parallel to axis any line uh, like any ray which is parallel to axis, okay, any ray which is parallel to the axis of parabola. So this line, this ray is parallel to the axis of parabola. After reflection through the parabolic mirror, 
okay it will pass through the focus it will pass through the fo focus of the parabola this is the property of a parabolic mirror so this ray is parallel to uh, the axis of the parabola so after reflection it must pass through the focus so uh, after reflection the ray must pass through the point which point it will must pass through the focus and our focus is nothing but 0 comma 2 okay so this will be our this will be our answer 0 comma 2 so uh, this question is done now what is next Prove that the locus of intersection of tangents to the parabola thus y square is equal to 4x which meet at an angle alpha is x plus a whole square tan square alpha is equal to y square minus 4x. Okay, so a standard parabola is given here y square is equal to 4x. We will draw one rough sketch. Okay, so uh, this is our parabola and uh, It is asking that the point of intersection of tangents which meet at an angle alpha. Okay, so let me assume one point here. Okay. And uh, let me draw two tangents from that point. So, this angle is basically alpha as per the question. This angle is alpha. And uh, suppose this point is P, okay. Suppose this point is P, and uh, we have to find the locus of this point P. So, let, let the coordinates of this point be H, comma K. And this parabola is basically y square is equal to 4x. Okay. So uh, let me assume, let me assume the equation of tangent. Let me assume the equation of tangent to be y is equal to mx plus a by m, right? For tangency, this c must be equal to a by m. So uh, if you see, uh, since this tangent is passing through point P, no, so uh, it must satisfy this. It must satisfy uh, this k comma h comma k point. So it will be uh, uh, what you say. K must be equal to, or you can write it as m k must be equal to m square h, m square h plus a. Okay. Now it will be a quadratic. This m square h minus of m k uh, plus a is equal to zero. Okay, so this will be a quadratic in m. So our if you see the what will be the sum of roots, the sum of roots will be m one plus m two, and that will be equal to uh, k upon k upon h. Okay, and what will be m1, m2, the product of roots? It will be basically a upon, that is c upon a, that means a upon h. Okay, now it is given the angle between uh, these two tangents is alpha. So basically tan alpha must be equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1, m2. 1 plus m1 m2. So now this what is m1 minus m2? Okay, we have to further calculate this m1 minus m2. So okay, let me do it. So m1 minus m2 whole square is equal to this m1 plus m2 whole square and minus of 4 m1 m2. Is it okay? So from here what we get uh, k square upon h square k square upon h square minus of 4a upon h. Okay. So let me bifurcate it and do here. So we will use this formula later on. First, let me find out this value of m1 minus m2. So m1 plus m2 whole square k square upon h square minus 4a upon h. That is nothing but 
m1 minus m2 whole square is equal to uh, this h square means k square minus of 4ah or we can say m1 minus m2 is equal to plus minus under root of k square minus 4ah upon h right so put this value here we will get tan alpha is equal to uh, or square it first square it so uh, it will be tan square alpha is equal to m1 minus m2 whole square that is uh, what we can say uh, this k square okay minus 4 a h upon h square and this will be 1 plus m1 m2 1 plus m1 m2 will be uh, a upon h okay so this will further one simplification becomes h into what it will become uh, h plus a right h plus a. So, uh, now for finding locus, replace this uh, h and k by x and y. Okay. So, it will become uh, h into means uh, x into x plus a. x into x plus a or you can say x plus a x plus a okay. So, we are squaring no. So, uh, this will also get squared this will also get a square again i am doing mistake so this will also get a square and this h thing will get cancelled out this h will not appear here this h will get cancelled out from this uh, h square thing in the denominator so basically this will be x plus a whole square x plus a whole square into tan square alpha is equal to your y square minus 4ax. This will be the locus of parabola. That is what we have to prove. This x plus 1 whole square, 10 square alpha is equal to y square n minus 4ax. Hence, it's proof. Okay. Now, coming to the next question. This is question number 10. Find the locus of the middle point of the chords of parabola, which passes through the focus which passes through the focus. So, this is our parabola and uh, this is our chord, suppose this is our chord AB and it is passing through focus this S. And uh, so, what will be the coordinates of S? It will be A comma 0 since the parabola is our standard parabola y square is equal to 4x. Now, let me assume the middle point of this chord to be H comma K. Let me assume the middle point of this to be h comma k. Now we can write the equation of AB. We can write the equation of AB. Since the uh, we are having the uh, middle point of this part, it will be equal to t equal to s1. Is it okay? So uh, y y1 okay minus 2a x plus x1 is equal to s1. S1 will be nothing but our uh, this k square minus 4h. Is it okay? Now the same chord. Okay, let me first put it uh, the value here. So this will be basically ky uh, minus 2ax uh, minus 2ah, right? Is equal to k square minus 4h. Now same chord is passing through uh, this focus also. So, this focus is whose coordinates are a comma 0 must satisfy it, right? So, uh, put here. So, it will become 0 and uh, this will become minus of 2a square and minus of 2a h. Minus of 2a h is equal to 0 minus minus of 4a h this k square minus of 4ah. So, finally what we got this k square uh, minus of 2ah 
minus 4h plus 2h minus of 2h plus of 2a square is equal to c. Okay. Now replace this uh, h and a by x and y. So we will get y square minus 2ax plus 2a square is equal to 0. This will be the locus of the chord with having uh, middle points. This will be the locus of middle point of that part of parabola which will uh, pass through the focus. Okay. So this is our question number 10. I think Okay, this is the last question. The, from the point, these tangents are drawn to parabola y square is equal to 4x. Find the equation of chord of contact and also find the area of triangle formed by the chord of contacts and the tangents. So basically, uh, we have done similar type of question here. I think this question number 7 or 8, I don't know. But same question we have done somewhere. Where we have, uh, where we... Uh, found the area of triangle. Let me see. Where we got uh, some calculation error, no? That question only I am saying. So this was there, this was there. Yeah, this one. Same question because the points are also same and uh, in the last question, is it is asking about the chord of contact. So we have derived here. We have found the chord of contact equation, this equation of AB. So this is there. And the question is asking to find the area of triangle. So A root 2. Okay. So all things are same. So I'm not going to do that question. So this is 11. Now I think this much only for this exercise. So... Uh, we got stuck in a few questions and it uh, delayed. Like we are 10, uh, 5, 9 to 10 minutes behind. So, anyhow, that was the part and parcel of the question answer session. We can't help. But yeah, we can uh, do it uh, in a accurate way in the first attempt itself. So, uh, thank you all. Uh, this parabola chapter is completed now. So we will meet you uh, once again with the next chapter, most probably with the next uh, conic section that is ellipse. So uh, till then, uh, you take care. And as uh, I informed you all earlier, like, please take care of your health. Don't be stressed. Okay. Uh, do uh, practice a lot of questions. But don't, but don't stress yourself. Okay. Keep take care of your health. So, uh, thank you. We will uh, meet you soon with the next chapter. Till then, tata. Goodbye.